Glory to God the Father and Son Yeshua Messiah. Isaiah chapter 13. Prophecies against Babylon. This is a prophecy about Babel, which Yeshayahu the son of Amot saw. Hoist a banner on a high mountain, shout to the invaders, beckon him to enter the nobles' gate. I have ordered my holy ones, summoned my heroes, eager and bold, to execute my anger. Listen, a tumult on the mountains, it sounds like a vast multitude. Listen, the uproar of the kingdoms of the nations gathering together, Adonai Svo is mustering an army for war. They come from a distant land, from beyond the horizon. It's Adonai, with the weapons of his rage, to lay waste to all the earth. Howl, for the day of Adonai is at hand, destruction coming from Shaddai. This is why every arm will hang limp and everyone's courage melt away. They will be gripped by panic, seized with pain and agony, writhing like a woman in labor, looking aghast at each other, faces aflame. Here comes the day of Adonai, full of cruelty, rage and hot fury, to desolate the earth and destroy the sinners in it. For the stars, the constellations in the sky, will no longer give their light, the sun will be dark when it rises, and the moon will no longer shine. I will punish the world for its evil and the wicked for their iniquity. I will end the arrogance of the proud and humble the insolence of tyrants. I will make humans rarer than gold, scarcer than offers pure gold. This is why I will make the heavens tremble, and the earth will be shaken from its place at the wrath of Adonai Svo on the day of his fierce anger. Then, like a hunted gazelle, like sheep with no one to gather them, everyone will head back to his own people, everyone will flee to his own land. Anyone found will be pierced through, anyone caught will fall by the sword. Their babies dashed to pieces before their eyes, their houses looted, their wives raped. I will stir up against them the Medes, who cannot be tempted by silver or bought off with gold. Their bows will tear young men to pieces, they will have no pity on the fruit of the womb, their eye will not spare children. Thus Babel, that jewel of kingdoms, the pride and glory of the castum, will be like Sedum and Amora when overthrown by God. It will never again be inhabited, never lived in through all generations. Arabs will not pitch tents there nor shepherds bring their flocks. But wildcats will lie there, their houses will be full of owls, ostriches will live there, and wild goats will dance there. Jackals will howl in their palaces and wild dogs in their temples of delight. Its time is close at hand, its days will not last long.